We call this show The Record in part to highlight the importance of a public record, that paper trail showing us what our government does in our name, those things we can document, those things we can see and know for sure. After all, open access to public records is a cornerstone of American democracy. That's according to a white paper published by the U.S. Department of Justice, widely circulated in academia, even cited in briefs before the U.S. Supreme Court. The information and privacy experts who wrote it said such access is central to electing and monitoring public officials, evaluating government operations, and protecting against secret government activities. To be sure, governments at times do keep secrets, and at times for good reason, to protect the lives of soldiers or spies, but far too often to protect politicians or the governments they run from embarrassment. But these experts understood that, quote, open access recognizes that citizens have a right to obtain data that their tax dollars have been spent to create or collect. We are, after all, a government of, by, and for the people. We have a right to know what we're doing. That's why I was surprised to hear St. Louis Police Chief Robert Tracy say this. When it comes to body-worn camera, I'm limited by the sunshine law, and I'm limited by the state laws here and what I can release and what I can't release. So let's check the record. It's true the law does allow police to keep body camera from public view if its release would, quote, jeopardize a criminal investigation. That sounds kind of vague, so the law defines it further by saying if its release would put a confidential informant in harm's way. Well, that's not the case here, where a police SUV crashed into a South City gay bar three and a half weeks ago. The officer who, who crashed apologized, but another who showed up on scene shortly after put the first bar owner in handcuffs, then ultimately arrested his partner, the co-owner, and after some sort of apparent physical altercation down a dark gangway along the side of the building. People who saw that video told us the bar's co-owner may have shoved the officer who he claimed punched him first. We don't know because we haven't seen the body camera video. There's another reason police can keep that video from the public. That's if the investigation is still active. Maybe they'd need to piece evidence from that footage with some other bit of evidence they don't have yet to put the whole puzzle together. But again, that's not the case here. Either the bar owner shoved the officer or he didn't. Either the officer punched the bar owner or he didn't. Kind of makes you wonder what happened first. It all could be on that tape. And the law says this too, an investigation is no longer considered active, meaning police can release it once the courts have either convicted the suspect and the case is closed or when police decide not to pursue the case. I raised that point to the chief and he said this. You're telling me that I could release it, but I can't. There's a criminal case going on and there's also an internal investigation. And I'd rather not compromise an internal investigation on this. So which is it? He can't or he'd rather not? And how would releasing a public record compromise an internal investigation? Surely, now three and a half weeks later, they've already taken statements from the officers about their recollections of the events. So we asked one final question, and the chief's answer was rather telling. Is this going to be your transparency standard going forward in other cases, perhaps more violent cases, where the public demands to see what's on that police body camera video? Listen. I would have, it, it would have to go case by case basis. I would have to check with my uh, city council. I have to check with the circuit attorney. I have to look at what type of case that I'd be compromising. But I'll, I'm open to taking a look at what we can and can't do. In other words, he reserves the right to release that video if and when he wants to. No, there's nothing in the law that says he must release the video at this point. A court could order that if a judge decides. But nothing in the law says he cannot drop the charges. Nothing in the law says he cannot decide to release the video either. There's the law, what you must do, and there's the right thing, your values that tell you what you should do. Don't take it from me, take it from him, Chief Tracy, making this promise on the day he got the job. My core values is about transparency. You'll see that as, as I go along. 